the Akashic Records. One of the key aspects of Theosophical Doctrine was the concept of the Akashic Records. The idea itself was not entirely new, being something of a different take on the Biblical Book of Life or the Islamic Preserve Tablet. In her words, Helena Blavatsky compared them to a kind of force underpinning all life, also referring to them as indestructible tablets of the astral light. A later writer in the same tradition, Alfred Percy Sinnott, claimed in his 1883 book, Esoteric Buddhism, that the Akasa was the source of all human invention, dreams, knowledge, and enlightenment, asserting that nothing ever came from nothing, but that everything was derived from this arcane dimension. The Akashic records, essentially, were an ongoing storehouse of all human thoughts, emotions, events, actions, and even intentions that spanned the past, present, and future. This record was said to lie outside of human perception in another non-physical realm known as the etheric plane, but its existence was said to be intuitively felt by all people, and it could be consciously or unconsciously accessed by those people with the proper training or frame of mind. In fact, the Akashic records were said to be an enormous influence on people's behavior, emotions, and fates whether they were completely aware of it or not. In more modern parlance, it could be seen as something like an organic or spiritual internet, a compendium of all knowledge that is constantly in flux, feeding into and being fed into by all people at all times, and connecting all of them into one gigantic web of experience. In his 1899 book, Clairvoyance, theosophist Charles Ledbetter put forth the idea that an individual with clairvoyance could access the Akashic records, and in 1913 he went even further by claiming that his book, Man, How, Whence and Whither, that the Akashic records also held an account of Atlantis and events that would unfold in the future. Austrian theosophist Rudolf Steiner also linked the Akashic records with Atlantis, as well as the lost continent of Lemuria. Steiner termed the accounts the Akasha Chronicle and claimed that they were as real to him as any concrete reality. In 1927, writer Alice A. Bailey compared the Akashic records to photographic film and introduced the concept that because the records held an account of every human and animal thought, desire, dream and fancy, only a true occultist would be able to survey the records and be able to distinguish between an event that had occurred in reality and something which some individual had only imagined or invented. Edgar Cayce and the Akashic Records American mystic Edgar Cayce also referred to the Akashic Records in many of his writings, generally stating that he was accessing the etheric plane in order to obtain the seemingly psychic knowledge including medical diagnoses and prophecies of the future that he subsequently issued to his followers. He often stated that the Akashic records, as well as his own subconscious, were the two sources he was drawing upon in his capacity as the sleeping prophet. Casey asserted that the Akashic records were inscribed upon time and space and referred to them as divine mind and God's book of remembrance, again, drawing parallels between the Akashic Records and the Book of Life spoken of in Christianity and Judaism.